I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at how to track a workout on the Fitbit Charge 5 wearable. So I'll take this off my wrist so it's easier to see, and we just double tap the screen to wake it up. Um, if we're not already on the exercise setting, usually it's gonna default to this home screen, and we're just gonna swipe to the left. Two times we get to the exercise screen here. Um, now we're gonna swipe up and we can select the exercise that we wanna do. So if we do a run, it's actually gonna track using the built-in GPS, which is great. We can track a bike ride, a swim, um, or a treadmill. I like that for just any kind of general walk or hike where I don't need GPS. Weightlifting, interval workouts, so you can do a lot of different things. Um, let's go ahead and uh, set this on the treadmill setting. It's not gonna use the GPS, just gonna track steps and heart rate, and then we're just gonna press the start button here. Um, now I'm gonna put this back on my wrist so I can actually track. And you can see as I'm working out here, it's giving me time, it's giving me my heart rate, um, what zone I'm in at the moment, um, the number of calories I burn, I can get other metrics on here. So let me go actually uh, walk around a bit. Okay, so I've just tracked a very short workout, but you can even see as I walk around, it's gonna update my step count. And it's a little bit of a delay as it counts the number of steps. And then you'll just see a jump up there. Um, so it's counting as I'm moving, it's counting the calories that I'm burning, and it's counting my time and other factors there. So I can tap the screen and I can get other metrics. So there's my current heart rate, for example. Now when I'm done, I'm just gonna swipe up on the screen. That gives me the option to pause the workout. That's my first step. Now that's great if you wanna you know, sit down, take a water break, something like that. Um, when you're ready to finish, you just press that finish button. And now we get this nice workout summary. So we get our uh, total time, steps, zone minutes, average heart rate, max heart rate, total number of calories burned. And then we can go back to the home screen. Just press that big done button. Now, one of the coolest things is that um, you can actually pull up these exercises in the Fitbit app once your Fitbit syncs to your phone. And um, I just did a, a quick um, you know, pretend exercise there to show you how it works, but this is a real run that I did over the weekend. And you can see you actually get a map using the built-in GPS of where you, uh, actually it's a hike, not a run, but I counted it as a run to get the GPS tracking. Um, you can get a, a map of exactly where you went. Um, you can get all of your uh, really detailed data here about um, you know, the exercise and uh, how many zone minutes, your average heart rate, your heart rate throughout, calories burned. You can even go into this um, heart zones and see what heart rate zone you were in at each part of that uh, run, or in this case, uh, brisk, brisk hike, or no, actually not particularly brisk hike. Um, so this is a, a really great function to be able to pull up all of this data from your Fitbit Charge 5 and see that um, right there on your phone when you're done with your exercise. Now I showed more walking and running, but you can also do, again, bicycling and even swimming. So you can count laps and that kind of thing when you're swimming. Um, so really great functions here on the Fitbit Charge 5 for tracking your exercise.